Hi everyone, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to April Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They are greatly appreciated. This is the daily forecast. It is for all signs, so it's a broad spectrum reading. I do speak in broad terms. You need to figure out if and where it fits in your life, if at all. If it doesn't fit, that's okay. Nothing's broken or wrong. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. You just might be working on something different. This may not be your reading. Originally, this reading is created for Thursday the, no, sorry, Wednesday the 17th. I'm trying to rush us along, I think. Uh, Wednesday the 17th of May. It's not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date, by all means, utilize the reading when you're seeing it, especially if it makes sense to your situation. I believe that all readings can be timeless, so they find us when we need them rather than when they were originally created for. So don't get caught up on the date. For those of you that hear me talking about cards that you don't see in the reading, I'm referring to the Sunday underpinning reading. That's the Sunday reading that populates in the lower left-hand corner. That's the layer of energy underneath these cards. It's kind of at work in the background, so you can always check that out too. Um, if you're new, please check out the drop-down menu underneath any of my daily videos. In there is some housekeeping rules, things I want you to think about when utilizing the channel, what decks I'm using during the reading, how to contact me for a private reading. You can do so by either following my Instagram or my Facebook business page. Uh, you would need to message me at either place to instigate or initiate the talk of a private reading. I will never reach out to you to try and sell you a reading. If somebody does, then it's more than likely an imposter, so keep that in mind. In the um, drop-down menu is some easy ways to support the channel. You can do so by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I put up new content, which is daily. Um, leaving me a question or comment on the video or sharing the video out, that greatly helps. Let's see what the spirit and the cards want us to know for today. Okay. So our card for the day is the Seven of Pentacles. So, he's kind of cute. He's got a little Indiana Jones thing going on. Seven of Pentacles is always about pause, right? Pentacles is Earth energy, the 3D world, the work that we've put into something. Um, is now the time to harvest what we have worked so hard to get is essentially the meaning of this card. You know, taking that pause before we decide to reap the benefits or the rewards of whatever we've been working at. Sometimes this card can indicate whether or not we want to continue working at something. Is it like paying off? Is it bearing the fruit that we thought that it originally would, you know? This can be around a work situation or a love situation or anything in the 3D world that we've been like concentrating on, paying our attention to, putting our effort into, giving our focus to, and then, you know, maybe pausing and going, wait, is this, you know, is this turning out the way that I thought it would, right? And it's about taking that time to kind of contemplate that. I believe yesterday in the um, clarifiers, we saw the Four of Swords, which is a card of introspection. And that introspection kind of aligns nicely with this Seven of Pentacles. It's like stopping and looking at what's going on in our outside world and making a determination as to whether or not we want to continue along with this crop. Is it ready? It may not be ready, you know, whatever the situation may be. It might need more patience or more attention, but we get to stop and make that decision and make that clarification or determination as we're, um, as we're weighing our options or looking at the situation as it stands. It's not necessarily a bad card. It's just a card of, you know, taking stock, inventory in a situation and trying to decide, is this really the payoff that I want? Is this really... Um, giving me what it is that I've put the effort in for, right? Like kind of weighing our actions, our intentions, our attention towards what's actually coming out of the situation. And then from there, making a really clear, precise decision that's grounded in, you know, what's best for us. Underpinning this from Sunday is the fool. You know, the fool is about like new beginnings. And so maybe we need to shift perspective or shift attention or start putting our work elsewhere. Doesn't necessarily mean that what we've been working on was wrong. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we need to stop working on it. We might need to shift our attention towards something else at this time. Um, or, or 
start putting in a different form of attention or care towards a situation because it may um, be moving along slower or, or bearing less fruit than we originally expected, right? So I don't want you guys to give up hope, but with the Fool here, the Fool speaks about moving in a new direction, and so the Fool underpins this, so we may be in a serious place of contemplation today as to whether or not what we've been working on is really, like, deserving of our time, deserving of our energy, giving us the um, outcome. Is it, it's kind of like a, is it headed in the right direction card, right? Stopping and reflecting and kind of looking at everything as a greater whole and deciding is now the right time. It doesn't mean we have to also leave it behind either. We can put it on pause and come back to it later. That's definitely a seven of um, pentacles meaning too. So, if we are contemplating a situation, now would be the time to seriously take stock in that contemplation. Really look at it for what it's worth and see what is it giving us, is it returning us what it is that, you know, we thought it would originally. Excuse me. Now let's look at the Untamed Elemental card. Ooh. Sky. I love all of the colors with this. To me, before even reading the book, it speaks to a lot of different options, a lot of different... Um, possibilities. The openness of the sky means that, like, you know, possibilities could be limitless to us in other ways, especially with the fool underpinning this. Let me read sky to you. I'm assuming sky must be air. Let me see here. One moment, I'm trying to find it. Uh, it is not air, so is it ether? It's ether. So it has to do with the spirit. Is So I'm, before I even read this, I'm going to ask, is what we're nurturing, what we're giving our attention to, what we're putting our efforts into, is it actually feeding our soul? Is it feeding our spirit? Is it opening things up to us in larger, grander ways? Or is it limiting us? Is it holding us back? Is it sucking us dry or, or requiring too much from us at this time? Sky is lucidity. Expansive and inviting, Sky holds all of the universal magnificence, meaning, and history. He offers safe passage for the truth of light and invites unmitigated participation in universal evolution. Sky's thoughts are vaporous clouds that move along unburdened by concepts. He neither rejects nor clings to anything. That's kind of the Seven of Pentacles, too. It's like sort of looking at it and deciding, do I want it or do I not? Um, he has simple, clear, eternal awareness. We can look up and ask him anything. He listens without judgment and answers all questions. Sky offers advice to practice discernment when it comes... That's Seven of Pentacles, too. To practice discernment when it comes to believing your own thoughts and the thoughts of others. Thoughts are mercurial, mutable, and tran transient. We empower them to become reality when we join them with our emotions. The union of thought and, the and feeling is how we shape our worlds. To make room for fresh potential and luminous inspiration, it is important to declutter your mind on a regular basis. That's that Four of Swords we saw yesterday. Doing so will provide you with great lucidity and open the door to your own sky-like expansiveness. Welcome to Boundless Opportunities. The balanced version is spacious, voluminous, intuitive, and open-minded. The imbalanced is constricted by limiting thoughts, fearful, or fixated. To bring it into balance, sky gaze by resting on the earth and neutrally watching the clouds roll by as if they were thoughts. Differentiate between the inherently vast nature of the mind and the conditioned thoughts that often obscure it. So we could be making a decision, too, right now, whether or not what we're putting into a situation is bearing the fruit that we need. And maybe we need to change or pivot our thoughts, our actions, our beliefs, our attentions in the midst of a certain situation, too. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave it, but we may have to reconfigure it at this time. Let's look at the clarifiers real quick. We have the Page of Pentacles. That could be new change. We have the Nine of Cups, what's going to bring us emotional happiness and fulfillment, and the Knight of Swords. So, 
Knight of Swords is air, right, which kind of pairs nice, nicely with sky, even though sky is ether. Knight of, knights oftentimes can bring in messages. Pages are about learning. There's something we may be learning here about our emotional satisfaction and whether or not we're actually attaining it through the actions that we take in the 3D world. There could be a truth with this Knight of Swords charging in that is coming to us and waking us up to realizing that maybe we've been doing something I don't want to say wrong or incorrect, but maybe there's a change that needs to be made. And through the Page of Pentacles, we need to learn what that change is. There might be some sort of new steps, actions, or thoughts that we need to take in our 3D world that will help to lead us to the Nine of Cups through the truth of the Knight of Swords, right? There could be a realization, an awareness, a truth that comes out that indicates to us, hmm, Maybe this wasn't what I thought it was, or maybe this isn't turning out the way I thought it was going to, or it's, maybe this requires something different from me than I originally thought it did. Ultimately, we're trying to get to this Nine of Cups. We're looking for our harvest. We're looking for our happiness. Sky indicates to us to open our mind and start to think differently, more openly, more expansively. And then from that expansive thought, we might learn a thing or two um, through the page as to what next steps may need to be taken. Those next steps could feel foreign, different, or be teaching us in a way with that page there. But we're willing to take those steps tentatively, slowly. Remember, underneath this is the fool. So there is a new journey, a new option, a new opportunity somewhere in all of this. And ultimately, I think that this new opportunity or solution leads us to the happiness and the contentment of the Nine of Cups. Nines indicate completion, so we could be completing a certain way of being, thinking, acting within a situation that I don't want to say is no longer working for us, but it's not necessarily bearing the fruit that we thought that it was going to. So open your mind, open your like eyes, your thoughts to new information coming in, because I do see new information coming from both the Page of Pentacles and the 3D world and the Knight of Swords coming in through either communication, thoughts, generally from another person. It can be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Gemini. And we are getting ready to go, you know, we'll, we'll leave Taurus season and go into Gemini season too soon. But whatever it is, there's a, I feel like there's a turnover happening here that we need to realize or that we're in the process of realizing that helps to bring us closer to our own emotional completion, well-being, and happiness. Let's go to the grounding stone. I'm going to say overall, I don't get a bad feeling from this reading. I get a feeling that this is just a taking stock, taking inventory, opening our mind and being willing to learn new ways, new information to lead us to this Nine of Cups, to lead us to our happiness, our contentment, our um, completion with maybe a certain way that we've been or um, a way that we need to be so that we can harvest the goal, the outcome that we seek. The word is friends. Um, I would say grounding in information, well, uh, grounding in communication with the friends, those that we trust, that could be where this insider information or this new um, insight, uh, awareness, communication becoming, could be coming from, from the Knight of uh, Swords. Ultimately, those that we trust can support us through this time of transition and change. We can discuss our goals, our dreams, what makes us happy with them, and see what their take is on it. You know, see, even if this is a relationship or a work situation, talking with coworkers, our boss, our partner, we might find out some new information that indicates to us that we may need to make some changes in the steps that we're taking or the thoughts that we're having, the, um, you know, with the fool underpinning this, there could be something that we don't see coming or, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, it almost feels like there's an awakening or, or a realization here that opens up our mind, especially with sky being present here, that opens our mind to a whole new way of approaching a situation that we didn't otherwise see. 
And in doing so, that starting to learn that new way of being, deciding, um, action, whatever it may be, however it manifests, helps to lead us towards this Nine of Cups. Honestly, when I look at this, whatever it is, it's going to be a deeper truth that is going to serve us and be to our benefit. I hope that makes sense. That is your reading. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, share the video out. Leave me a question or comment. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Tune in tomorrow and we'll see how this energy changes. Take care. Bye-bye.